Okay. Okay. Can you pick our artist of the week from that song? Guess. I wish this was a phone program. This is where you think. Well, okay. <laughs> but it's not. She is a graduate of So none of these. <laughs> none, none of these. <laughs> none of these. No, it's not Dare. No, it's not. She went to University of Lagos and the Weber Douglas Academy of Dramatic Art in London. And she began her career in film in the early 90s. In 1998, she had a major role starring opposite Colin Firth and Nia Long in the British Canadian film, The Secret Laughter of Women. In 2006, she won the Best Actress in a Leading Role at the Second African Movie Academy Awards for her performance in Women's Cot and Best Actress in a Supporting Role at the Fourth African Movie Academy Awards in 2008 for her performance as a grandmother in White Waters. She is I'm married. sure you've been able to guess. She is married to... Da -da. <laughs> Olu Jacobs. And can you guess now? Ladies and gentlemen, Without may I present ado? to you <laughs> Jocke Silver Jacobs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Applause! <laughs> no, some, some people will say applaudissé. Applaudissé. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to wow, have you here. Wow, what an intro. How do you come after that intro? Thank oh well, you, so much. you are Thank here you. already. We Thank did it to unveil in a grand style. It's Thank the you. last episode of the year, okay, of the program true. in the year. We yeah. are so happy that you were able to find the time to be with us today. You know, whenever you invite At me, short I'll, notice. I will come. Whenever you invite me, I will come. Uh, but, <laughs> but you are busy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you are busy. You have a performance much. on right now, actually. Yes, we have... Uh, of a play called The King Must Dance Naked that my company is producing. I think I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. When sure. Fred Agbe was still in the business. Yes, he's still in the business. I mean, he's just written a new play. Oh, he has? He, yes, he's, he's written a new play called African Queen. And it was a toss between African Queen and The King Must Dance Naked. And I, and I said, Uncle, let's do The King Must Dance Naked first. First. And then we'll do, <laughs> we'll do African Queen. You know. Um, yes, you, you, it's, I mean, the, the, the major productions of um, King Must Dance Naked were done in the early 80s hmm. with Claron Chuka, Chukura, was the first ever Omajua. And, um, and then in 1992, December 92 to January 93, the National Troupe play, um, did The King Must Dance Naked, and that was with myself, Olu Jacobs, um, RMD, uh, um, Uncle Albert Egbe, mm -hmm. and um, oh, I mean, it was a beautiful ensemble. I met Yerima, it was incredible, you know. Um, so that was it. And then we, we uh, my company then took it for the uh, London Olympics. And then Omadua was played by Najiti Dede. And Antitawa okay, Ajayi, like I said, played Udusu in 93. And um, I played Udusu in 2012. Okay. And this year, we now have um, Zara Udofia, Ejo. She's playing um, Omadra this year. And Gloria Anose Young mm -hmm. playing Udusu. Yes. Wait a minute. Uh, yes. when, when is this play happening again? <laughs> it, it's, it's just not, such. It's been happening. It's been happening. But we have a, a performance tonight. And then we have another five performances next weekend starting from the 5th to the 7th That's of the January. Next year. That's yes, the next, next, year. next year. Yes, yes. <laughs> next but, year. But we have next one week. This, ev this evening no. at the Glover Memorial Hall. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. This leads to the conversation we started the program with to, no, okay. the second, second topic, topic. You know, we yeah. had to, about missed opportunities in the year 2023. Okay. We spoke largely about the comedy sector, the music sector, but not so much about the performing arts, which okay. includes stage yes. and, and, and movies. Yes. Uh, one of the things things that uh, one of my friends said was the reason for low patronage of performing arts is uh, disposable income. And I told him point blank, I said, I don't agree. Because um, 
bad as it bad. As we say, people go for comedy shows all over the all through the year. People buy data. People go for concerts and and all of that. So I don't think it's a problem of disposable income because and people still go to the cinemas to watch movies, be it foreign or local. So it's not a in my opinion, a problem of disposable income is a problem of perhaps whatever else. What do you think could be? Could it be? Um, I think the person has a point when they say disposable income. Because a lot of the performing arts is pretty expensive. It's more expensive than going to the cinema. Yeah. Most cinema tickets, the most expensive cinema tickets that I know of are like 5,000 Naira. All right? Our regular tickets start from 12,000 12, Naira. That's regular. Do you understand? Mm. So, um, for someone who is used to going to the cinema, buying a ticket for 5,000 naira, and then buying whatever e trees and things that, that go with it, at the end of the day, they're probably not going to spend Pop, more than 7,000 <laughs> or 8,000 naira. And I'm saying that my cheapest tickets are, are 12,000 naira. Then the medium, the VIP tickets are going for 25,000, yeah. the VIP 50,000. All right. So there, there's that. There's disposable income. But the, I, I think also um, included in that is people being aware of the of the event now. And that is so expensive. Yes. The publicity for letting yes. people know about the event. Yes, we have a lot of social media, but then there's some there's some areas of the performing arts where you find the the um, the clients for performing arts are not on social media. They're not on, you know, the, the regular. So it's, you, you need to spread your, your net really wide and that is expensive. Yeah. So I think um, part of it, and I, I, I guess they're beginning to understand now, is, is the understanding of the role of support for the performing arts, especially in the area of culture. Mm. You know, no. people don't understand that there's, there's a need for in, uh, a lot of support. Mm. Yes. But perhaps that's also, sorry, Alira, perhaps mm. that's also uh, because, as you said, the word is not put out. This, that. It was not so in time past. The Baba Salas, the Baba Miros, and the rest of them, they didn't even have as much as a camera, much less anything else. They had stage. Yes. And that was it. They, yes. they, it was later that TV began to catch up on, yes. on some of them. And when you talk about tickets for these things, uh, comedy shows, um, an Alibaba comedy concert or uh, <laughs> an Okebakasi <laughs> yes, concert, yes. those yeah. guys don't charge less than 12000 15000 in some cases. Yeah. So perhaps. And the Choco Block. I, so you know, those mm. issues. Are, mm. So for me, I, I would still put it where you, you know, put it, mm. which is... The word being put out. There's mm -hmm. that. Whose job is that? Perhaps, but particularly in the area of the culture, the performing artist is not the owner of the culture. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to um, sustain the culture. Mm. It's an environment, it's a, it's a societal thing. Mm. So who's, who should be supporting or encouraging uh, mm. that agenda of sustaining our cultural values. Um, mm. Okay, I think there's a there's a there's a major part for government to play there, you know, and that's why you have the various ministries that are totally intertwined. You have the Ministry of Culture, you have the Ministry of the Creative Economy, you have the and then the various commissioners in the various states. Um, they need there's a need to work together with the creatives to find ways of supporting to get the word out there. Now, one of the things you mentioned was that, you know, during Baba Salah's time, they didn't have uh, half of the gizmos that we have <laughs> now, yeah. you know. But then, okay, and a lot of times, um, Ogunde is another yeah. example. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'll just go around in the lorry and announce it around that this place is <laughs> happening. You know. Now, the, the, the catchment area was, you know, was smaller. Was, 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 
Oh yeah, smaller because they, they traveled around. They, you know, it wasn't that they stayed in one place. Now, what tends to happen, and then you said television caught up. Now, and then with the, uh, with the advent of television, it helped them to get the, uh, the word out there. Yeah. But then there was only one station. <laughs> NGA. NGA. We are looking for content. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now there are multiplicity of stations, multiplicity of radio stations. And so you have to be very savvy to understand that, first of all, what is the content that I'm putting out there? And, and who where is, is my, my audience? Market? Exactly, where is my audience? So you then have to then work out which station, station. you have to go yeah. so that yeah. you reach that target audience. Mm. Yes, yes. So in the so, meantime, this play has already started. Uh, yes. Started. Yes. And um, we had a brilliant house last night. Oh. Yes. We uh -huh. had a brilliant You've already answered my question. <laughs> okay. <then. laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I was going to ask you. No, no, okay. sorry. I'll ask the question. Talking about disposable income yes. and all that. Yes. What has your experience been with The King Must Dance Naked? Um, the King Must Dance Naked, audience-wise, the experience has not been bad, audience-wise. But raising the money to do the, the show. play itself. Oh, my father in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Uphill that, task. That was an. It was. It was impossible. But, but Joke, there are some banks who want to be associated with the arts. Yes. Didn't they come in at all? No, I think the 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 bank that we got came in in the twenty fourth hour. Oh dear. Yes. Yes, but and no. that was and that was Sterling Bank, and I'm so grateful to them. For their for their widow's mic that they put in, but most appreciated. You know the, the, the consequence of um, not doing these things. Well, I'm talking about performing arts relatively, because yes. I'm also adding the, the movies and the films. Oh, and oh, all okay, of those okay. So that's the creative uh, economy. Yes, the, the yeah, creative so economy. All yes. of those, uh, uh, you know, there. But speaking to the performing arts, which really is the fulcrum. Yep. Of, of you know the movies and films mm -hmm, and all mm -hmm, those things mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm, where it mm -hmm. all, it's a all starts from it's, it's a bedrock and, and the all of that yeah. now a lot has happened over the years in that space would you would it be correct to say that the advent of films and television have in some way affected the stage performance I think it would be very right to say that up to a point that, you know, the advent of film, because for instance, if I say the budget of my theater production is a hundred million and I give a filmmaker a hundred million, the filmmaker is going to make the film, is going to make the funds back, you know, um, over time, in, in, a, in a shorter space of time yeah. than theater is going to do, mm. you know, theater, I, I spend that amount of money on, on a theater production. And then um, the likelihood of even making that money back is very slim, unless I run for much longer. I have to run for a very long time. Do you say but running for longer means you're paying more? Running for longer, you know, but then, but then there, there gets to a break even point okay. where the, 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 the run then begins to pay for itself. And it's the fact that we don't run for long enough here. Mm. You, need, you need, like you rightly said, you know, you need a significant amount of funds to be able to run for that long. Mm. But then when you cross that sh threshold, that yeah, cool. is how you get your Lion Kings that are running for 20 years. Yes. You, you know, you have, to, you have to cross that. But, you know, mm. it, you know it, it's, I think for us who are theatre makers, especially theatre, um, especially uh, executive producers of theatre, we haven't, we're, we still need to learn the language that will unlock the minds of investors, angel investors, to understand what it is that we're doing. We still mm. haven't found that language yet. Mm. We're still working on, on getting that because once we can unlock that, mm. I think we will get the support that we need. I mean, Would slowly you but say... surely, sorry, slowly but surely, we're getting the venues, which is important because you must have the venues for the performances, yes. Would you say that um, theatre is actually for the more refined taste? Kinda. 
<laughs> I like that answer. I like that answer. Well, that, 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 that's because like not saying, everybody would get dressed in, in the evening, no, but, for instance, but, but, but to go watch see, a play. But, yes, but you see, that's what I've found pretty interesting over the years, is that one, once you, um, once people are aware that this is happening, and then you take it, once the, the, the product is good, the, the product has got to be very good. Mm -hmm. Once it's good and you bring anybody into the theater, they get hooked. They get hooked by the magic of live performance. Because live performance, there's a mag the magicality of it is the co-creation that you do with the audience and the, the live performance, you know, there's a co-creation that happens, you know, and you have to experience it to understand it. So part of Because you can go into the crowd. Yes. For, you know, as an actor, you can pick on anyone and yes. stay in the hall. Yes, yes. And I think part of what we've, we've been doing over the years, that's um, our, our company, is trying to build new audiences. Um, this year, we were able to get the first lady to get some um, public school children and bust them over for the show. You know, she bought, um, she bought a significant amount of tickets for them to be able to attend the show. And you should have seen the light in their eyes. I know that if I ever go back to those children and say, oh, there's a theater performance, and so they will jump at it. But, but she, yes. I mean, Mrs. Jacobs. Yes. Remember your school days, <laughs> how you would have done anything to be on stage yes, yes. in a school play. Yes. Yes. Every that's every child's I mean Christmas play. Yes. God, I want to be in it. Yes, I want to yes, then yes, you go yes. for readings and all yes, that and yes. you don't get picked to and yeah, you're so, so down yes, yes. You know, yes. you wanted to be on stage when yes. you were young. Yes, yes. So I can imagine the excitement and uh, that's, where, that's where I want to be. And, also, <laughs> and then I think also, it's just that, you know, when we, want, when we want them to come to the theatre, it's not only, you know, for them to become performers themselves, it's for them to experience the magic of it, for them to be able to say, oh, wow, this happens in my country. It's not just in other people's yes. country. It happens in my country as well. Mm. Yes. Perhaps so also to emphasize, I mean, you talked about unlocking the language to yes. the investors. Yes. Don't worry, we'll, we'll teach them the language. <laughs> but you know, the, the, where I'm going with that is, yes. what do we need to do mm. to create that cultural experience that mm. will be sustainable? I'm saying that against the backdrop of Broadway mm -hmm. that, as you said, Countless ages. I don't even think many people know the founder of Broadway anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Whenever anything wants to happen, they are talking about yes. you know uh, Broadway. So Broadway, what, what West we, End. Exactly. Yes. That's the one of the core reasons for the national theatre. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm so I'm so excited that it's being renovated. Okay. Yes. So what beyond outside of the national theater yes. what do we need to do because i have performed at the national theater as a stage person myself okay, and okay. it was electric yeah, exactly what needs to be done yes to create that culture yes for everyone down through the generations to embrace sustainably and pass on mm. that's jam question <laughs> And you didn't study for it. <laughs> That's a dumb question. I work at the press. Can you write a paper on it? But several things. Um, I, was, I was speaking with a, a showmaker recently, commercial showmaker, you know, th uh, theater, theater um, executive. And in the, in the preparation stage of the, of the production, Right, that, that is casting, first of all, choosing the play, casting, and then um, uh, getting the word out there. A lot of it is supported by grants. When you do the, even the workshopping of the play to get it to the standard that it is then ready to put before the audience, it's supported by grants. Now this, when you talk to people about that they they don't seem to understand it but mm. that's the way to sustain the performing arts 
they, there is a level where grants must, you know, you must have those grants. Now, the thing is that, you, I mean, in my conversations with some of the, we call them sponsors here, and we say, you know, this is what you will need to sponsor for them. They're, they're like, oh, um, they'll say, uh, how do I get my money back? You know, that if I put this amount of money in film, I can see... No, that's not it. You're creating. You're, you're, it, it, is, it is the time of creating. And in that time of creating, to sustain the creators, you give them grants. To it a is, point where you begin yeah, to make your money back. Exactly. And then it's a, so, so, answer, so part of the answer to your question is the fact that there needs to be an understanding that at, at the early stages of a work, grants is what is necessary. Mm. Then, after that, and even, even for a space, you know, which is why I say it's a, it's a jam question. You know, you can say, oh, I've refurbished this space for you, I've given you this space, work with this space, fine. But I also need um, operational capital yeah. to be able to work. Do you understand? And that is not going to come from people who don't even understand what it is that I'm doing yeah. in the first place. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? So they're, they're, they're just, it's a myriad of things. So for, for us in the, um, in the performing arts, it's a, bas it's a basket, grants, equity, uh, if, if necessary, debt. Debt is very risky for the performing arts. Because it, it, and that's why we say equity investor, because they go with you. You need incredibly patient capital mm. that's okay. going to... Will, will it help? Yes. Because so, yeah, mm. no. um, that's what you started with. Yes. Would it help if the governments at the federal yes. and state level understood this and through their ministries of arts and culture invest heavily in this sector because they need to protect the culture of the, of the nation? Um, hopefully, yes, that's... I hope somebody's listening because I think <laughs> you need to pre because it is important to protect your culture. If you look at the cultures of the people that we are, um, for want of a better phrase, in bed with the British, the Chinese, the you know the, the British and the, and the Chinese, really, how how old is their culture, and how have they sustained it? Check it's through their theatre. The, the Chinese theater is, has been going on for generations and it doesn't change. It's the same, you know, they've preserved it. The same with the British, all right? So the thing is that, yes, trying to make them under, understand that that's, what is, um, that that's what they're doing. But apart from that, is to realize that it's an incredible employer of labor. Right now, I have a cast of over 100. Oh. I have, well, I have a cast of about 100, and then the crew makes it over 100. That over the, uh, from, from early November till now, I feed on a daily basis. Wow. I give, you know, a little something of transportation, aside from their fees. So it's, an, it's an employment of labor as Ooh. well. So they can look at, I mean, let's look at all the things, or let's look at all the language that I could, can use that will help a lot. <laughs> That's the question I was actually going to oh, ask. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So which part is it looking like government is about to partake in? Are they looking like they're about to invest in it? Well, I'm, I mean, you must, you, you must um, congratulate the, and um, celebrate the Lagos State government, especially because of what they what the, um, they did in the in putting up venues now global memorial hall that my company manages right now was refurbished by the by the lagos state government and then they also built another six theaters i think another six or five theaters one of them got burnt during the ensars time but you know good because the, there's there's a need for spaces as well venues to be able to put up these shows and the more venues we have the better we're looking at a new uh, a venue in abuja you know hopefully sometime next year um so when you have these venues then that also helps but now apart um the, they, they are beginning to have conversations 
with the in no it's true everything starts that's with a start. conversation that's everything a start. starts with the conversation and a conversation on trying to understand not not slapping something on me that i don't need yeah. Do you understand? Mm. So, so the conversations have started, which is nice. So, so there's, we'll see. there's, there's a hope. lot. There's a lot of hope. Yes. Okay. So um, the king must dance naked is yes. on now. Yes. A new year starts in two days' time. Yes. And what are king. we looking forward to? In the new year, from Lufodu, well, the final weekend of the King Must Dance Naked, like I said, you know, at the Global Memorial Hall, but also um, a basket of more, we, we will be producing more, more theater, and we will also be producing film as well. So it's a mixed bag for, hopefully, that's what 2024 we're, that's what we're looking forward to in 2020. So, um, and also the school, the Lufudu Academy of Performing Arts, our first graduates for, so after a long break, yeah. um, we'll, we'll be graduating in 2024. I as think well. she has uh, <laughs> something with which she looks into your mind to know what you want to say. Because I was going to ask, how about schools? <laughs> Yeah, she came with that device, obviously. <laughs> Fortunately, we're out of time. Yes, no problem. Yeah, be before you came, we were talking about um, entertainment and uh, tourism, and tourism, and tourism, tourism yes. missed opportunities in 2003. Um, I want your thoughts about that, about your particular industry in 2023. I'm sure a lot of people have mentioned many things, but for me, what is what, what is becoming a crisis is cleanliness. It affects tourism. If, I, if, I, if the places where I need to go, right, to experience whatever it is I want to experience of the culture that I'm in, if the surroundings are filthy, it is a no-no. It is a turn-off. All right, if, if that place is overcrowded, if I have so much street trading that I cannot even just walk, park my car in and peace. walk in peace, that mm. is so that without an me, area boy coming to accost you. No, it's not even area boys accosting you, it's that you can't even find where to I'll park, with I'll park my car here and then street traders. Street, uh, let's let's think, let's co create and find you know, areas where we can have street traders or traders or shopping or whatever. And that doesn't disturb commercial activity, you know, and my kind of commerce. Where the tourism, okay. Thank you. The well, well articulated. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much thank you for so being much. our guest this morning. Thank you Dr. for having Silver. me. Thank you for having me. Um, how should I do? Actress. Uh, producer, Executive, director. Executive yes. producer. Yes. Thank you. Wife, mother. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> carry on, carry on. Uh, time has, time has moved. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much for coming Thank to join us this morning me. on our last program <laughs> for 2023. That closes Sunrise for today and that closes Sunrise for, for the year. year. Mm -hmm. Bring you another one next year. See you next year with a new edition of Sunrise. I'm Alero Do wishing you all the best. Have a good weekend and see you next year. Should I say Happy New Year? No, it's not New Year yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ayabaki. See you again.